السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک ٹو قرآنک لینگویج میڈ ایزی رمضان مبارک ٹو ایوری ون میں اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ پرینٹ از آل فرام آل دام اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہ علم نما ینفعنا ونفعنا بما تو علیمنا وزیر نما فضل کا علم ان کا علا کل شعین قدیم ٹوڈیز لیسن از لیسن ففٹین فرام یونٹ ٹو دیٹ از دا ڈبل ایمفسس لام و نون التوقید دا ورڈس You might have seen in the Quran like layum badanna la tarawunna. So those things we are going to learn in today's lesson, inshallah. In this lesson, we are going to learn about how to emphasize a sentence with a lot of emphasis. Different types of emphasis in Quran. The various tools used to emphasize a sentence in Arabic. Different types of lam. Different table formats of double emphasis with various different examples. The passive verbs that is the majhul table formats with double emphasis, inshallah. So let's begin. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Double emphasis or laam wa noonu tawqeed. Double emphasis is placed on a mudare by prefixing it with a laam with a fatha la and suffixing it with a noon with a shadda word emphasis or a tawqeed this is to show that something is really very important or needs special attention tawqeed is also pronounced as taqeed which means to strengthen something or to emphasize a point there are various tools used to describe or emphasize a sentence in arabic One of the most common used forms of emphasis, the first type is Qad. Qad is used to emphasize either a fi'al madi or a fi'al mudare. And this can be translated as already, in fact, had, have or has, depending on the context. Let's take some examples from Quran. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qad bayyanna al-ayati li qawmi yuqinun. Qad is indeed, we have made clear the signs for the people who firmly believe. The aflaha man ma tazakka. Certainly, the one who purifies himself has, has succeeded. We have qad again. This is the sentence with the emphasis. The next second type of emphasis is the laam emphasis. The laam of emphasis or the laamut tawqeed. The laam tawqeed can be attached to any types of words in Arabic. Let's take an example. Fa inna Allah la ghaniyun hamid. So here we have fa inna. Inna is then indeed Allah la ghaniyun. Laam is there. This is laam tawqeed. This is attached to a noun. Certainly is free of need. Hamidun, praiseworthy. Right? No doubt Allah subhanahu wa taala is truly independent. and free of need and praiseworthy the second the same ayah in a different uh, surah we have wallahu ghaniyun hamid notice that in this ayah you don't have an inna you don't have a lam tawqeed and how do you translate this and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is independent praiseworthy so the first sentence differs from the second in that there is an extra inna and an extra lam lam tawqeed on ghaniyun right if you see the first ayah it is fa inna allaha la ghaniyun hamid right you have inna and then we have lam tawqeed on ghaniyun but whereas in the second sentence you don't have an inna you don't have a lam tawqeed so this tells us that the first sentence is more emphatic than the second this lam tawqeed can occur on a harf it can occur on an ism it can occur on a fi'l it can occur on any particle and also the pronoun laam of emphasis always comes with a fatha this is very important okay how do you differentiate between this laam ut tawqeed and the other laams is this laam ut tawqeed should always be maftuh which means that contains a fatha so the, the difference between this laam ut tawqeed and the other laams are as follows the laam ut tawqeed this laam always contain a fatha like la yaktubanna la tusalunna whereas we have the laam ul amar the laam ul jazima or the nasiba laam this laam always contain a kasra like liyaktub 
This is making the mudare majzum. If we have liyak tuba, which is the nasiba lam, this lam makes the mudare majzum or mansub. Whereas we have one more lam which we learnt in unit one, that is huruful jal. This lam also always have contain a kasra. Like lillahi, this lam gives kasra to the noun after it. Right, lillahi. And the lam taukid lam comes with a noun, including the pronouns, fi'il and harf. And also the other particles like the lam ul amar, jazim or nasiba lam. This lam come, comes only with the mudare and the amar. Whereas this huruf ul jar, this comes with nouns and pronouns. And don't get confused with these lam, lam ul tawqid. Do, here, this looks exactly like we have a lam ul tawqid. This lam has a fatha, lakum, laha, laka, laki or lana, right? But these are not the lam ul tawqid. This is our huruful jar. This was actually li. This became la when it combines with the pronouns, right? Lakum, laha, lana, laka, except for the first person, that is li. So don't get confused with those, uh, that lam. Let's take an example of lamu tawqid with an ism. Noun. La khalqu samawati wal ardi akbaru min khalqin nas. So here we have la khalqu. So, khalqus samawati was there. So, we have lamut tawqid added to it. So, it becomes surely the creation of the heavens and the earth is greater than the creation of the mankind. Right? So, here this lam is not a huruful jar. It was, if it was huruful jar, then it would have become li khalqi. Right? So, but this is lamut tawqid. No change in the uh, noun. It remains the same. So, it is la khalqus samawati. Truly the creation. Right? Next. إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلٌ فَصْلٌ Indeed, so here we have Lamut Tawqid is attached to a noun. لَقَوْلٌ فَصْلٌ Indeed, it is surely a decisive word. No doubt in it. So this is the Lamut Tawqid. And we have وَلَا الْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى So here we have لَا الْآخِرَةُ So it was actually الْآخِرَةُ Right? But this comes with a lamu tawqid lam, so it becomes walal akhiratu, right? And surely the hereafter is better for you than the first. Next example is lamu tawqid with a harf. We have inna al insana lafi khusr. So here we have inna al insana. Lamu tawqid comes with a huruful jar fi, la fi, right? So how do you translate this? No doubt, indeed, no doubt, mankind is surely in loss. So this is with the emphasis lamu tawqid. And we have wala im muttum aw kutiltum la ilallahi tuhsharun. So here we have la in, we have lam of lamu tawqid with the conditional article in, la in. And if you die, aw kutiltum or are killed, la ilallahi, la ilallahi tuhsharun. So we have ila is our huruful jar, we have lamu tawqid before it. So it becomes la ilallahi. Surely to Allah you will be gathered, right? So that was Lamut Tawqid. And one more example is In Nakala Ala Hudam Mustaqim. Again, Lamut Tawqid comes with the Huruful Jar Ala. So indeed, you are surely on straight guidance. Next, Lamut Tawqid with an independent pronoun. Wa inna Allah lahu wa la azizul hakim. So here we have inna, Wa inna Allah and indeed Allah lahu wa. So the Lamut Tawqid comes with the pronoun huwa. Right? Surely he. Al-Aziz Al-Hakim. He is the Almighty, the All-Wise. Next is Lamu Tawqid with a fi'l. وَلَوْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ لَجَعَلَكُمْ أُمَّةً وَاحِدَةً Right? So here we have, and if Allah had will, لَجَعَلَكُمْ So the Lamu Tawqid comes with the Madi Ja'ala. Surely He could have made you a one nation. كَلَّا إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَيَتْغَى Lamu Tawqid comes with the Mudare. Indeed, man surely transgresses all bounds in disbelief and evil deed. Verily, man is rebellious. So here, lam is lamut tawqid comes with the mudare. We have the third type of emphasis is with the letter noon. This is called as noonu tawqid. So the emphasis with the letter noon, strong or heavy, also called as energetic mood with the present tense fi'al mudare and the amar, the imperative. But you cannot use this nunu tawqid for the madi, past tense. فَلَا تَكُونَنَّ ذَهِيرًا لِلْكَافِرِينَ So here we have takun. This was kana yakunu, right? So it becomes takunanna. So do not be an assistant to the disbeliever. وَلَا يَسُدُّنَّكَ عَنْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ 
and let not avert you yasuddun naka sodda yasuddu so it became yasuddun naka right from the verses of allah now the table format for verbs with double emphasis is as follows so here we have um, the mudare chart with the lam lam tawkid and the noon tawkid so we have lam tawkid which which begins with the lam with the fatha and ends with a noon with a shadda so let's take nasara yansuru right which means to help so we are using lam or noon tawkid for that the third person masculine would be layansuranna layansuranni layansurunna so here we have yansuranna so we have a fatha on the lam for the masculine third person singular so layansuranna layansuranni for the dual so he will indeed surely surely indeed he will help they both will surely indeed help layan surunna for the plural you have dhamma on the ra so layan surunna they all will surely indeed help for the third person feminine it is latan suranna she will indeed definitely definitely help and latan suranni they will definitely indeed help layan surnanni they will indeed help and latan suranna latan suranni latan surunna for the second person masculine you will indeed definitely help you both will indeed definitely help you all will indeed de definitely help for the uh, third person feminine uh, second person feminine latan surinna latan suranni latan surnanni you will indeed definitely help latan suranni you will definitely indeed help latan surnanni you will definitely indeed help first person is la ansuranna i will indeed definitely help la nansuranna we both will definitely help la nansuranna we all will definitely help i am going to read out the points uh, which are over here there are five points the first is the letter preceding the noon shadda carries a fatha for the singular of masculine and feminine third person masculine second person and singular and plural first person so if you see that the letter before noon shadda in this case is ra right this is the letter before the noon shadda so this is fatha for the masculine and feminine third person third person layan suranna latan suranna so ra is having a fatha and masculine second person and singular first person so here we have second person masculine latan suranna and for the first person la ansuranna la nansuranna right so all these have ra is having a fatha and the second point it says that the letter preceding the noon shadda carries a dhamma for the second and the third person masculine plural so if you look here the letter preceding noon shadda this has a dhamma for what third person masculine plural the yan la yansurunna and la second person masculine plural la tansurunna so only these two have a bamma on the ra la yansurunna la tansurunna that's how you differentiate if it is singular or if, or if it is plural so la yansurunna la tansurunna are the masculine plurals and the third point is all the forms of dual ends with ani right if you see the dual forms so it says la yansuranni la tansuranni la tansuranni la tansuranni right so these all the dual ends with anni and the fourth is third and second person feminine plurals end with nanni if you look at the feminine plural it is the third person feminine plural is la yansurnanni la tansurnanni so these are the feminine plurals ends with nanni and nanni the last point is the letter preceding noon shadda carries a kasra for only one which is the second person feminine singular so this is la tansu rinna ab is deleted before matching the noon tawkid so if it was yaf'aluna right this is the plural yaf'aluna third person masculine plural so this becomes la yaf'alunna right so the uh, letter before noon shadda is having a dhamma so if it was the dual yaf'alani it becomes la yaf'alani anni is added for the dual taf'alina this is the 
second person feminine singular, this becomes lata fa'alina. This is the only one where the letter before the noon shadda carries a kasra. The wow of masculine plural and the ya of feminine singular. Fa'alina becomes lata fa'alina. Ya fa'aluna becomes la ya fa'alunna. In the feminine plural form, the alif is inserted between the noon of plural and the noon of saqil. Noon of saqil is the noon shadda. So the noon doesn't occur in one place. So yaf'alna, feminine plural, becomes la yaf'alnani. Taf'alna, feminine plural, becomes la taf'alnani. A nani is added to it. And in the Quran, huwa, hum, anta, and antum are mostly used in the Quran. So fi'al mudare and nahi can be made more emphatic by adding a noon at the end. Take yansuru and yansuruna. This is yansuru is third person masculine singular. Yansuruna is third person masculine plural. So what is the nasiba or the light version of yansuru? It is yansura, right? That is the nasiba. What is the jazima or the lightest version of yansuru? Yansur. What is the nasiba and jazima of yansuruna? The noon gets dropped. So it becomes yansuru, right? Now, what is this? Yansuran. Have you ever, um, did you come across this uh, word, yansuran? This we have never ever seen this before, right? This is not yansurna. Remember, we learned about yansurna and tansurna. This is not that. This is yansuran. What basically happens is the noon is added at the end that wasn't there before. This is actually called the heavy version of yansuru. So, the heavy version of yansuru is yansuran. The heavy version of yansuruna is yansurun, right? So, what is the for the yansuru? Uh, the singular, it is yansuran. What is the plural of uh, heavy version of plural? Yansurun. The only thing that is giving away that this is heavy is the dhamma is telling you that ra is a, it's a plural, yansurun. And the fatha on the ra that yansu run tells us that it is singular. Now, this is heavy, but the heavy is actually not found in the Quran, except for once or twice. What is actually found in the Quran is the heaviest version. So, let's learn about that. So, the heaviest version of yansuru is yansu ranna. So, here we have noon shadda, okay, noon saqila. The heaviest version of yansuruna is yansu runna. What difference do you see between these two? This is the one you have to be concerned about. The only difference between these two is ranna and runna, right? So the dhamma will give away that it is yansuruna, the plural, and the fatha ranna will say that, that it is singular. Yansuranna and yansurunna. Let's take some examples from Quran. Latarawunna al jaheem. Surely, definitely, absolutely, surely you will see the hellfire. Here the Dhamma on the wow says it is plural. Latara wunna. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all from the hellfire. Amen. Lam is for truly the noon at the end would have made it heavy. But there is a double noon. That is the noon shadda at the end which is the heaviest. Latara wunna. So we have Lam at and we have Noon at here. So how many forms do we have? The first one is the normal or the marfu or the default form. And then we have the nasiba, the light version. And then we have jazima, the lightest version. And then we have the heavy version. And we have the heaviest version. I'm only focusing on the heaviest because that occurs many a times in the Quran. So, lataravunna, it actually means all of you will definitely, definitely, truly, definitely, definitely see. So, there are three emphasis on the word. One more example is, so here we have la tus alunna. So this is from saala yas alu. But notice it is tus alunna, right? So this is su ila yus alu. This is exactly the passive majhul, right? All of you are being asked. Then surely, definitely, you will be asked that day about the pleasures. So tus singular or plural tus alunna. You have to look, look for the word before the noon shadda. What is that? That is lam. And what is it having? It is having a bamma. So if it is having a bamma, it is plural. So this because the dhamma, there is a dhamma on the lam. Tus lunna. So now 
we have yaqulu if you add a noon then it becomes yaqulanna for the singular yaquluna becomes yaqulunna this is the plural for the uh, prohibition la taqulu becomes la taqulanna for the singular taquluna it becomes la taqulunna so for the prohibition if i just say la taqul qala yaqulu is to say if i say la taqul which means don't say you're just prohibiting but if i say la taqulanna don't you dare say it emphasizes with greater emphasis right and how do you say don't you dare hit right with so much emphasis you're saying you better not hit la tadribanna daraba yadribu is to hit right and la tadribanna right don't and if i want to say just don't hit i'll just say la tadrib right but if i want to say with so much emphasis like, don't you dare hit it is like la tadribanna so here we have the two noons at the end is two times more emphasis and the lam is one more time so totally this is three times emphasis so much emphasis so much like a lot la yaqulunna ya wailana inna kunna zalimin so here we have la yaqulunna right so this is qala yaqulu so we have lam at-tawkid and then we have noon at-tawkid surely they will say oh woe to us indeed we were wrong doers may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not make us among them amen fala nuwalli annaka qiblatan tardaha so here we have lam at-tawkid and then we have noon at-tawkid fala nuwalli annaka so we will surely definitely definitely turn you to the direction of prayer you will be pleased with so here we have allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about the uh, turning the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam direction in qibla so he is assuring with so much emphasis subhanallah now it's a quiz time how do you say definitely definitely oh my god definitely listen right samia yasma'u is to listen and how do you make tasma'u and make it like that post your answers in the comment section the table format for verbs with double emphasis is as follows i have taken different examples and uh, i have made the chart dakhala yadkhulu right for the singular it is the letter before noon shadda will have a fatha la yadkhulanna la yadkhulanni la yadkhulunna so this is this will have a dhamma he will surely definitely admit they both will surely definitely admit they all will surely definitely admit la tadkhulanna this will have a lam will have a fatha la tadkhulanni and la yad la yadkhulnanni this is feminine plural so nanni is added la tadkhulanna la tadkhulanni la tadkhulunna this is masculine plural lunna the, the, it will have a dhamma la tadkhulinna this is only one feminine singular will have a kasra on the letter before noon shadda you will surely admit for the feminine la tadkhulanni all the duals will have anni la tadkhulnanni the feminine plurals will have nanni la la yadkhulnanni la tadkhulnanni la adkhulanna la nadkhulanna la nadkhulanna i will surely admit admit we both will surely admit and we all will surely admit i'm taking next saala yasalu which means to ask so it becomes la yasalanna for the singular la yasalanni dual la yasalunna plural la tasalanna la tasalanni la yasalnanni la tasalanna la tasalanni la tasalunna and la tasalinna la tasalanni la tasalnanni la asalanna la nasalanna la nasalanna so notice here for the singular masculine it is lanna for the plural it is lunna and this is linna this is only for the feminine singular zalama yadlimu so this is we have uh, for the lam nun tawkid is la yadlimanna la yadlimanni la yadlimunna la tadlimanna la tadlimanni la yadlimnanni la tadlimanna la tadlimanni la tadlimunna la tadliminna la tadlimanni la tadlimnanni لا اذلمنا لا نذلمنا لا نذلمنا نوتس منا the letter before noon shadda will have a fatha for this لا تذلمنا لا تذلمنا لا اذلمنا and anni for the dual لا يذلمانني all the way here you have anni for the plural it is the dhamma right but the letter before noon shadda لا يذلمنا لا تذلمنا for the feminine plurals nanni لا يذلمنانني لا تذلمنانني i am also making a chart of passive Uh, nasara yansuru to help nusira yunsaru so i'm taking here nu, nu, yunsaru okay not yansuru 
it is yunsuru yansuru is al already there layansuranna layansurani layansurunna that was for yansuru but now this is passive this is majhul right so i am using the majhul layunsaranna layunsarani layunsarunna la tunsaranna la tunsarani la yunsarnani la tunsaranna la tunsarani la tunsarunna la tunsarinna la tunsarani la tunsarnani la unsarunna la nunsarunna la nunsarunna so here notice la yun la yunsarunna the the letter before nun chad is having a fatha for this 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 and the first person right he will surely definitely be helped it is passive they both will surely definitely be helped they all will surely definitely be helped right and for the dual anni is added la yunsarani all the way down it has anni la yunsarunna right so here the letter before nun chada will ha have a dhamma for the plural masculine uh, th third and second person la yunsarunna and nanni for the feminine plurals la yunsarnani la yunsarnani So here we have, what do you think is the Lam Lun Tawkid? This is from form 2. We are going to learn about the different forms in future lessons, inshallah, in unit 3. For now, just remember this is uh, a form 2, which is Kaffara, you Kaffir, right? So, La Ukaffiranna. We have lam lam tawkid lam the fatha and noon with the shadda at the end la ukaffiranna right i shall blot out from them all evils Wala then again this is from form four you're going to learn in future lessons afala yufilu adkhala yudkhilu pattern so wala udkhilanna i shall certainly admit them to the gardens this is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing it's it's kind of like kasmiya uh, way of saying like uh, to give sukoon to our hearts فَلَا يَعْلَمَنَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا So what do you think is the لَامُ نُونُ التَّوْكِيدِ here? So فَلَا يَعْلَمَنَّ Right? This is عَلِيمَ يَعْلَمُ Right? So this becomes فَلَا يَعْلَمَنَّ Right? So when you have meme, uh, uh, the letter before نُونُ شَدَى with a fatha, which means it is singular, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will certainly know those who are true. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to show the world who's, who's the who are the true people. So this is from Hamala Yahmilu, right? They will certainly, definitely bear their own burdens. And Wala Yusa Yaumal Qiyamati. So what do you think is the uh, word here? Wala Yusa Lunna. Right? And also notice that it is Yusa Luna. It is not Sa'ala Yas Alu. It is not Yas Aluna. Right? It is Yusa Luna, which means it is passive, it is majhul. So Wala yusa lunna, they will be called out to account on the day of judgment. Wala yusa lunna. Wala nasbi ranna ala ma aday tumuna. We shall certainly, definitely bear with patience all the hurt you may have caused us. So here, look at the beauty of Arabic grammar. So only a person who knows the Arabic grammar can understand the uh, the the meaning and the emphasis hidden in the single word. If you just look at the Arabic word, it's just one word. It is wala nasbi ranna. But look at the translation. There are like six different words are used for translating just a single word. We shall certainly bear with patience, right? So that's the beauty of Arabic language. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen this language for the Quran. Subhanallah. So learning grammar is very important. La yaqulanna alladheena kafaru. So here we have qala yaqulu la yaqulanna alladheena. The unbelievers would surely say. So here we have la yaqulanna is our uh, word and we have la yaqulunna inna kunna ma'akum. They are sure to say we have always been with you. So these were some of the examples and the noon shadda is only attached to mudare and it is limited to the future tense but the lam of emphasis lam tawkid is also attached to a noun a pronoun or a preposition in this case the sentence is in the nominal form jumla ismiya which generally begins with inna 
thus giving double emphasis to the word preceded by the lam. This we have already done, uh, done right? The lamu tawkid with the noun, pronoun, or preposition. Inna al insana lafi khusar. So the word is starting with inna. This is jumla ismiya. And we have lafi, right? So we have lamu tawkid comes with a preposition. Verily, man is in loss. Inna Allah la ghaniyun ane la alamin. So we have the word starting with inna, and we have lam la ghaniyun. So ghani uh, lam tawkid is attached to the noun here. Allah subhanahu wa taala is free of all needs from all creation. Inna fi zalika la ayatil li qawmi yu'minun. So here we have the, again the sentence is starting with the inna. And then we have la ayatin, right? Verily, in that are signs for those who believe. So this is with the double emphasis. And we have qalu in a inna ka la anta Yusuf. They said, are you indeed really Yusuf? So the brother of Yusuf was Yusuf was so shocked, and they are asking with so much emphasis. Yeah, inna ka la anta. So an lam is lam taqid is coming with a pronoun here. Are you indeed really Yusuf? And let's take some uh, other examples from Quran. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. La tublavunna fi amwalikum wa anfusikum. So here we have la tublavunna. This is the majhul, the mudare uh, majhul, uh, right? Tublavunna. You will certainly, definitely be tested fi amwalikum in your wealth wa anfusikum and yourselves. And again, and you will certainly definitely hear Tasma'unna Min Alladina from those who Utul Kitaba were given the book Min Kablikum from before you. Wakala Ladina and said those who disbelieved said Li Rusulihim to their messengers, La Nukri Jannakum, surely definitely we will drive you out. Of our land, min ardina, how latau dunna, or surely you will definitely should return fi millatina to our religion. Fa auha ilayhim rabbuhum la nuhli kanna. Again, we have lamununu taqid. So inspired to them, their Lord, we will surely, definitely, definitely, Allah subhanahu wa taala inspired to them that we will surely, definitely destroy the wrongdoers. Awalimin la nuhli kanna. Kalla la yum badanna fil hutama. So here we have la yum badanna. This is the uh, uh, the majhul, the passive. Surely, definitely, he will be thrown in the hutama. Believe and do righteous deed. La nukafi ranna anhum sayyatihim. Surely, definitely, we will remove from them their evil deeds. May Allah subhanahu wa taala make us among them. Wala najzi yannahum and we will surely definitely reward them. Ahsan alladina the best of what kanu ya maluna they used to do. May Allah subhanahu wa taala make us among them. Amin. And wunha ayn al yakin. Then surely definitely you will see with the eye of certainty. So we have latara wuna when the hypocrites came to you. Qalu nashhada inna ka la rasulu. They say we testify that. La Rasulu, right? This is from Lamut Tawkid with the noun that you are surely the messenger of Allah. Wallahu ya'lamu innaka la Rasulu. Again, Lamut Tawkid came here and Allah knows that you're surely his messenger. They used to say with so much emphasis that you know this munafiqeen. Then Wallahu yashhadu inna al munafiqeen la kadibun. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala testifies that the hypocrites are surely the liars. So we have inna and then we have la kadibun. So the Lamut Tawkid is attached here. وَإِنَّ كَلَ تَعْلَمُ مَا نُرِيدُ So here we have إِنَّ كَ Again we have تَعْلَمُ The Lamu Tawkid comes with the Mudari And indeed you surely know what we want إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لِرَبِّهِ لَكَنُودُ So here we have indeed the mankind to his Lord is surely ungrateful لَكَنُودُ Lamu Tawkid is added to the noun وَإِنَّهُ عَلَى ذَلِكَ لَشَهِيدُ Again and indeed he on that surely is a witness لَشَهِيدُ وَإِنَّهُ لِحُبِّ الْخَيْرِ لَشَدِيدِ Again and indeed in the love of wealth is surely intense. لَا شَدِيدِ إِنَّ رَبَّهُمْ بِهِمْ يَوْمَ إِذِلْ لَخَبِيرِ Again inna indeed their Lord about them that day is surely all aware. لَا خَبِيرِ
ولو انزلنا اند اف وي هاد سنت داون ملق القديا ان انجل لقديا لام التوكيد كمز وذ ذا مادي مجهول شولي وود هاف بين ذا ماتر وود هاف بين ديسايدد لقديا ثم لا ينظرون then no respite would have been granted to them walau ja'alnahu malakan la ja'alnahu again and if we had made him an angel la ja'alnahu la mutawkid comes with the madi certainly we would have made him rajulan a man wala wa la labasna alayha yalbisun so we have la mutawkid is added here and certainly we would have obscured to them what they are obscuring ويغفر لنا لنكونن من الخاسرين and forgive for us we will surely definitely be among the losers ولا تحسبن الذين again this is just the noon uh, tawkid and do not think of those aqtilu fi sabilillah that are killed in the way of Allah amwatan as dead بل احيان بل احياء عند ربهم يرزقون they are alive near the lord and they are given the provision alhamdulillah we are done with the lesson jazakallah khairan for watching if you like the video please share it with your family and friends and if you have any questions you can comment on the comment section below and or you can directly contact me on qlme2017@gmail.com and subscribe and like my channel jazakallahu khairan kaseera assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh